You're always busy. You always want to talk. Yeah, we could add Furin and try and cleave it before purification. <clears throat> what are you doing? <laughs> Giving you a preview Guys, would you excuse of what's going to happen yeah. if we are not in clinical trials in four months. Our investors will turn out the lights. Science takes time, Jersey. Don't they understand? Yeah, they do. They can read the Wall Street Journal. They see that Zymogen is testing three different pompate drugs. They're testing three because they don't know what the hell they're doing. I'm testing one because it's the right one. I know. I believe you, Bob. Look. I want you to go toe to toe with Zymogen scientists. That's the reason I've entered into conversations with them to buy our company. You're telling me? You're not asking me? Oh, come on, Bob. I am just being fiscally responsible. Nobody's gonna tell me how to run my lab. If I can engineer a deal, and that is a really big if, you're going to have to forgive me for all the money I'm gonna make you. I don't care about money. I'm a scientist. I care about more important things than that. Don't you tell me about more important things to care about. Hi, this is your entertainment ticket, yeticket.com. I'm Al McGee and this is John Delia. Wow, we just saw a movie with Harrison Ford in it. And you know, usually I get very excited about Harrison Ford movies. Yeah. I didn't get excited, but when I saw this movie, it brought me some excitement called Extraordinary Measures. Right. But you know, the actor in here that I was really surprised who really acted was Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser. A little bit, uh, had a little bit of weight gain, but you know, it was still him. Yeah, it sure was. Well, you know, the story, it's a typical story that you're looking for some type of cure for some sick, sick kids. You know, Brendan Fraser had two sick kids and he sacrificed a lot to, you know, get the job done. I don't want to give a lot of details about it, but what do you think of the film? Well, it's based on a true story. And it's about this father who, with, these, with these two kids who have this debilitating disease called Paoli's disease. And he's... You know, like, I never heard of it. Yeah, and I is that, is that a true disease today? or yeah. is that a disease, yeah, disease they mean for the movie? No, it's it's today. It's a real true disease. It's just don't you don't hear about it because the percentage of people who have it is very small. So they wanted to get this disease cured, and Harrison Ford is the scientist who developed the cure. Now, that doesn't mean he's the winner because remember when they were taken well, over yeah, by that but company. I know that. It but changed a little bit. I know, but how did you feel about the movie? Well, you know, I, what did I feel? I thought the movie was very good. I think it was very pointed. I think it, it, it actually opens up the doors for other things that we need to investigate. If there's a cure for that, why isn't there a cure for something else? I mean, they are able to do that, and it was a true story. And it's just an amazing story, the way it, it, it was played out. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I liked it very much. And yeah, I, I enjoyed movie. this movie also. I, I liked it a lot. I didn't love it, but I liked mm -hmm. this movie a lot. But also, I really liked Jared Harris in this movie, too. You know, uh, he played uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Ken mm -hmm. Webner, and uh, man, he was very, I always liked him in a lot of things, too. He, he, I see him a lot on television, right. and I really enjoyed him. And also in this is Carrie Russell. She played uh, she plays Brendan Fraser's yeah. mother, She plays the mother of the wife. two kids, or yeah. Brendan, Brendan Fraser's yeah. wife, yeah. Man's a genius. He's on the verge of a scientific breakthrough. I thought Doc was just your nickname. I knew. I'm not on the verge of anything, kid. This is a theory, not a therapy. I don't have the money to make my theory into a usable medicine. How much? How much what? How much money would it take to prove your theory? I'd need half a million bucks just to fund the lab work. That's why you need me. I need you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I'm the founder of the Pompey Foundation for Children. I've been working on this disease for 10 years. I have never heard of you guys. Um, how soon do you need a grant? Now would be good. Well, not all the money's in place, but it will be. And soon. It's a very exciting time.
Jared Drozier, she played the sick daughter of Brendan Fraser. Right. Uh, did she play a good role to you? You know what? I don't think many kids could have played the role she played. It was really touching. It was. She did such a good job, and it, it wasn't. She didn't do it like to try to elicit a lot of you know like oh uh, I feel so sorry for her type of thing. She really wanted to to to, to survive. She wanted life, and, it, and you know you can really tell it from this person. It was. I thought she played did a real good job. I thought she was actually sick. Uh yeah, I thought she was actually sick too. So she did it very well. Yeah. To me. Also, I, I was glad to see Courtney B. Vance in this movie. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen her around in a long time. Mm -hmm. in, uh, in movies lately, I seen him on television. But uh, you know, he played a good part, a very tearful part here in this movie too, with his sick, sick child. Sure. Yeah. You know, how many palm trees you gonna give? I'm gonna give it uh, three and a half palm trees. I, I because I don't know how big of an audience is going to accept this type. Of, how many people like true stories? It's it's more of like a, I don't want to say chick flick, but it's more Oh, no, more chick flick. It, but, I, but more women, I think, would, would be more interested to see. You think so? Mm -hmm. I think fathers would be interested in this, too. I, I think men would like this. I don't know how too. sympathetic fathers are. Yeah, you know, you have to be right. How many are going to be sympathetic with this and things like that? Like you, I'm giving it three and a half palm trees. It's above average, yeah. but it wasn't a great movie. Definitely above I average. wasn't in love with the movie, but I'm glad I saw it. I will recommend it to people, you know. Mm -hmm. We go see it. It's worth the go yeah, see. Yeah, extraordinary measures. Well, you heard it from us. Go see the movie and let us know what you think about it. Right. I'm Al McGee. And I'm John Delia. This is YUTicket.com, your entertainment ticket, YUTicket.com. You know what? Keep watching us every day and the day after. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get sick because they don't have a cure for you. I would, boy, and I'll tell you what to do. I would have to, the insurance for that stuff must be like, it was amazing. Oh, yeah, remember when they, they were talking about the price of insurance? Yeah, this year's oh, paying 40000 oh, yeah, 40, He said, you know, if you lose your job, we're better like, kids. Yeah, they were, they were yeah, bad. I mean, they're gone. The kids are gone if they lost their job. That's a good point. They made the movie too about insurance.